Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. Today I wanted to quickly go over about how you can add new users to your account. Now before adding new users through the Zoho One admin portal, you might have to also consider whether or not you have enough seats. Now if you don't have enough seats, you first have to go to the payments module and be able to purchase a new one of a new seat first, whether it's a monthly or an annual seat. And then you can go back to your Zoho One admin portal and you can add it in. So in order to kick us off, first we're going to go over to the Zoho One pay payment section. So this is just payments.zoho.com. Let's just type that in correctly this time. So as you can see, this is going to load. And my screen is a little bit different just because it's a demo uh, account. So you, you won't be able to, you won't necessarily see the exact same things. But what you have to do is you have to click on the Zoho One package here. And within it, it'll show how many users you have chosen. And it'll also give you the option to add new users to your account. Now, once this has been completed, we can actually move on to adding the users into the Zoho One admin portal. So what we can do here is, once you log into this, assuming you have enough seats, you can go into the admin, port admin panel section here. And once this loads, you can select users, and we want to add a new user. So in this case, we want to add a new, let's say, test user and we'll call it test at demo2.clantric.co. For the password, we're gonna just auto-generate it, and essentially all we have to do from this point on is add it. Now, this, this company information section down here is generally for larger organizations, but it's not bad to get into the habit of putting in an employee ID, their designation, what department they work for, who they report to, work location. It will propagate out to all the other Zoho applications out there. Um, so it will be very obvious. This information will be very obvious as it pops into all those different tools as they become more familiar with it as well. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, they'll be in the comment or in the, in the notes section below. Uh, and ask any questions, comment uh, away, and we'll be happy to answer anything you have. Bye for now.